Good morning, angels. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, more. <laughs> yeah. what was this is the most story? embarrassing thing that's happened to me. <laughs> I think we were all just like, what, which, 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 which what one do we go with? Do we go with Charlie? Do we go with Maud? Maud. Maud. I'm sorry. Maud. I think we were all Thank like, you. do we know if What I love about this is it's not one strong female lead. It's yeah. as many as you can fit in. And I'm totally. seeing that theme again with Pitch Perfect and this where it's just about, you know, doing it together. You don't have to do it on your own. You know, you see the likes of James Bond and Jason Bourne and it's just one man who's yeah, just very doing singular. a solo. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and it's like, come on, let's, we're on this together. Yeah, right? and I think thematically, it's really, that is more how women operate anyway, right? Like we, it's like we are the village <laughs> that like comes together. We've always had to work collaboratively. Um, I think that that is, you know, we, I think I think we accomplish more when we work together anyway. And so to me, putting that into motion into a movie was also really important. Now you're talking about you want to make an action movie. You got some stunt scenes in here as well. You yeah. got in on that action. I can't say because it's a spoiler, one particular moment in it, but how was that action scene? <laughs> <laughs> um, there, well, there's a lot. I'm actually wondering like if there's like two or three really great ones. Um, <laughs> There, the action was really fun. I mean, I loved coming up with, um, you know, we. I had a mantra, which was that the angels fight smarter, not harder. Mm -hmm. I consulted with female stunt coordinators in LA before I went to Germany to make the movie, and I asked them, like, what is the reality of a 130-pound woman fighting a 225-pound man? And they walked me through the different strategies that you would have to employ to actually beat that guy up. A lot of elbows. And it's a lot of elbows. Um, it is a lot of elbows. It's also <laughs> very interesting things like draw him into a smaller space so that he doesn't have like the full breadth of his power, right? Yeah. Like if he can't do a wind up to hit you, that punch is not going to have as much power behind it. Little things like that, that you, you know, those kinds of strategies that I felt like, oh, that's going to be part of the angel training. And then we said something in the beginning of the movie that there is data to back up, which is that when a woman walks into a room, um, it takes a man seven extra seconds to consider that woman a threat, even if she is holding a gun. Whoa! Yeah. So if, you, if you're a guy and you're sitting in a chair and a man walks into a room with a gun, you are immediately, it takes yeah. your brain no seconds yeah. to immediately consider that person a threat. When a woman walks in with a gun, you're like, why do you, what are you doing here? What, Surely why not. Why do you have a gun? And by that time, she has already shot you. Whoa. <laughs> so really, you're using that so feminine prowess. So that, exactly. It's like you're just not expecting. They're totally underestimated all the time, and that is a superpower in Charlie's Angels. Hello? You're in great danger. Get out of there now. How was it picking your angels for this movie? Fun. I mean, really fun. I mean, Kristen came on really early, and I mean, it was my dream to make the movie with her. I think that she just represents modern women in a way that very few actresses do. Lives authentically, can't put her in a box, always interesting on camera, um, funny, sexy, uh, bona fides when it comes to action, right? Has already done tons of action. I knew she had the discipline to do it, the training to do it. She dove headfirst into it, totally game. And then, you know, finding the charm. I, I, I was saying, I think of, I, I was really inspired also by rom-coms, and I feel like Naomi's character in particular really is like the Meg Ryan, you know, from an <laughs> 80s rom-com movie. She's that, like at the heart of the movie, you know, the one who's like, ah, what's happening? But she's <laughs> also like, sees the best in situations. Yeah, yeah, and you know, but smart and capable. And then, um, you know, and Ella is more like, you know, I don't know, she's like Ripley from Alien, like totally disciplined knows what she's doing, fights with prowess, like you just believe that she could kill anybody. Um, and I just thought, what a great combination, those three characters. And then obviously putting you as well in there, into that mix, yeah. I mean, that's a big thing as well. Um, you were a centric force of it, so you did make it sort of like super girl power. What does that phrase mean to you, girl power? Um, I mean, I think it's a little like derogatory in a weird way. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know, I just, to me, it means women supporting each other, listening to each other, believing each other. Um, I think that there that we have seen more and more that when women are divided, we do not do well, and we do not do as well as when we are actually united. And so for me, girl power is all about uniting. Actually, let's talk about some of these themes of the movie because I really, really like what it's going on. Uh, what's going on with this? Uh, Charlie's Angels has been around for decades. The message is evolving in a way where it's kind of like strengthening. Um, I wanted to call it girl power, but then Elizabeth said that that's almost a derogatory term, but sisterhood. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, what was it like having sort of like this, this group together and finding that dynamic to be like fast friends and straight in on it? We got so lucky to not have to cultivate that. Yeah. Um, yeah. It was never something we had to like try to do. As soon as I met these girls, I felt protective of them and, and held up by them and bolstered by them. And also, um, like, I felt like I could be myself mm -hmm. and I felt like I could be like vulnerable and they make me laugh. And uh, it literally immediately I was like, oh man, this movie might be good. Because yeah. like, it's here. It's like, that's, you know, this feeling is what the movie's supposed to feel like. So if I was feeling it, L l most most cases it com comes across like yeah. on screen. No, I think uh, to what you said about um, tr like being able to try things as an actress, I always have to feel like safe. Yeah, you know, because you, really you, you especially yeah. in a movie like this, and I was there was sometimes where I do like some improv, and like sometimes it works, sometimes it didn't. <laughs> um, but you know, you want to feel safe to be able to at least try because I feel like sometimes movies that I love that are like the entertaining ones whether they're like really funny and broad and silly even are uh, you know that in that moment they just tried something or they did something and it was maybe a bit crazy but it really worked yeah. the, so yeah. the best like words sometimes seem impulsive impulsive yeah, yeah exactly. there are several parts in this film that uh, could never be written that could never be written yeah. and were genuine like you know, like for example, you know the bit where you're going like boop, 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 <laughs> that I was genuinely, genuinely laughing at that moment. <laughs> I could see though, it was actually lovely though. So, you wanna train to be an angel? Hell yeah.